we can't add, I mean, technically we could, but I don't want to go above 10%, uh, except in rare circumstances of the security. Uh, uh, so we own nine and a fraction percent of the four largest, and I actually have to trim them just a little if they're repurchasing okay. shares to stay under 10%. If, if I could buy 20%, I would have been happy to buy 20%. Uh, uh, but so we, we, we've got about what we can handle. <laughs> Warren, let me ask you a little bit about the news of the day. Campbell's uh, came out with its own business initiatives, a strategic initiative today. I saw that. You saw that they're selling off a couple of units, the Fresh Foods and the International. Uh, does that make it more attractive or less attractive as a buying opportunity for something that could get wrapped in potentially to Kraft Heinz? Well, I don't, I don't know that it changes the picture a lot. I mean, presumably they're going to get fair value for that. So if, if, if they would be calculated in the, by any acquirer as being worth X, now it may be, it may or may not be tax efficient. I don't know the tax basis on those assets. But if it, if they have a low tax basis on those assets, uh, then it actually decreases value a little bit for another buyer because you've you've given some of it to the government in the process. But I don't think, uh, uh, I don't think in terms of of any other company looking at it for acquisition, they are probably selling the assets that those companies would have. Than particularly looking for, but I don't. I don't know Campbell that well. You saying you don't know it that well makes me think that you haven't been looking it over, considering it as a purchase. Because there, Dan Loeb would like to see somebody buy it. And my question is, would Berkshire be interested? Would Kraft Heinz be interested? Well, Berkshire certainly wouldn't be. Um, uh, but uh, but that's partly because we own Kraft Heinz too. We wouldn't do any. But uh, I think it's very hard to offer a significant premium for a packaged goods company and have it make financial sense. The packaged good business makes high returns on tangible assets that it has, but it is a tougher business than it was 10 years ago, and the stocks are higher than they were 10 years ago. So they, uh, we, uh, back in the 80s, we were the largest shareholder of General Foods. I've always liked brands, and they're very good brands, but uh, in terms of the battle of the retailers versus the brands and the, and the willingness of people to change their habits uh, probably had a, a higher propensity for that than 20 or 30 years ago. So branded goods, branded packaged goods are a very, very, very good business in terms of return on tangible assets, but they're not a sensational business in terms of where you can be five or 10 years uh, from now.